Yo, what is up my dudes? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a good day. Today, I'm gonna be taking uh, the boy Old Fart King into PvP, uh, specifically Green Old Fart King. If that's what you call him, Old Fart. Yeah, well, on JP, we just call him Fat King. But anyway, let's take a look at this dude's uh, skills. Skill 1, uh, inflict charge damage equal to 130% of attack. Charge ignores defense, it's an AoE pre-pog. Rank 2, 195%, same thing. Rank 3, 325%, same thing. A really good skill. Charge is really nice, especially in PvP. Skill 2 is actually really garbage. 72% uh, AoE, poison for 3 turns, 50% extra damage at the end of the turn. It's, uh, it's really not good. Rank 2, 108%. Rank 3, 180%. Uh, second skill is pretty bad. Uh, the damage is really bad compared to the first one, which is actually really good. But uh, yeah. Ultimate. 560% single target, decreased defense related stats by 40%. Now obviously this happens after the ultimate. You don't, you know, you don't get the debuff before the ultimate. Fate link with uh, Hellbrum, 640%, same thing. I won't be using Hellbrum as his fate link just because uh, Hellbrum doesn't give good stats whatsoever. But uh, yeah, the passive magic expansion. Oh, not passive, unique. Sorry, on JP it's called a passive. Increase all allies defense by 100% when the hero's ultimate move gauge is completely filled. That is actually pretty damn hog. Because of that, it makes you not want to actually use his ultimate because 100% defense is a lot. Like, that's really, really thick, you know? An extra 100%. This is the team that I'll be using with him. Merlin, uh, Galthar, and Green, uh, Gil Thunder. Obviously, Gil Thunder, uh, he's just there. So when we do get... Um, King's uh, unique slash passive, whatever you want to call it. It just makes us so tanky. Obviously, that's what we want to work towards. I've got Jericho as his link for more attack. 13.2k attack without food. That's really good. Obviously, the gear I have on him is really good as well. Galtha, he's running my, you know, the triple defense set with resistance rolls. Merlin is a uh, attack set, but Arthur's actually HP set, so we get a bit more HP on her. Because otherwise, if we run into like a Helbrum or an Escanor, she can die pretty, pretty damn quick. Uh, food of choice for the team I'm gonna run is specifically I think alt food is the best. Yeah, yeah, I think alt food is the best. If we uh, the, 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 as soon as we get like Green King's uh, ultimate gauge fully filled, we become very tanky. It becomes really annoying to deal with. And uh, yeah, what we're gonna try to do most of the time push Gal for ultimate, reduce their gauge, get Fat King's ultimate. Don't use it of course, and then from that we just chip away at them until they're dead. That's how I'm planning to use the team that's how i hope it goes now obviously i'm not showcasing him for like free to play players like this is just like there's this unit in my box he's 75 i want to use him that's literally all this is going to be about but uh yeah let's uh go into pvp hopefully hopefully we don't face a lot of bots i'm sick of the bots man so many bots i want to face real dudes so uh please game hook us up let's uh let's get to it game number one what do we have the pretty common uh, alt team. Uh, landscape mode is actually uh, pretty pog. Um, now, nah, like I said, we are always gonna prioritize Fat King's uh, gauge. We're gonna do that. Sadly, it is a bot, but at least it's a geared bot. Like the dude has his gear on and stuff. Yeah, the damage uh, <laughs> is uh, not too great, unfortunately. Bot sending me emotes, fair enough. Obviously, I don't have a cleanse unit, so that is uh, kind of tight, unfortunately, but it is what it is. CC's me. Now, if he's petrified, do I still get the defense buff? Jesus Christ, that is a thick 151% resistance, basically 24k defense. King is at 21k. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna protect my interests here and just uh yeah perfect cube level three obviously i am fighting a bot but i'm gonna play this as if i was fighting a real player this is what i would actually do galtha 24k defense with um a three star perfect cube that's really deadly man yeah 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 it's, it just does nothing 34k from Escanor, that's really not too bad. Um, I think we... No, 
Nah, that's probably a bad idea. Reduce Gauther's Gage. We one-shot the king. And we seal. Surely that reduces. Yeah, of course. Nice, nice. Literally, I guarantee you, 99.99% of players are not going to run triple defense on their Galtha in, uh, in PvP. So that is an advantage uh, we do have, right? If we ever do get Galtha ultimate, unless we're facing a Hellbrim, we can rest assured that we will absolutely not get our gauge reduced. Old Fat King, I mean, to be fair, there's not really much he can do. Like, you guys just saw the damage really wasn't that good. But at least he does provide a good uh, support for our other two units. They can do all the work. That's fine. Or actually, should we just should we just see what he can do? You know what? Screw it. We'll, we'll just see how much damage he does on his ultimate. He is 13.2k attack, right? Which is why I'm a bit disappointed with the uh, the damage he does. The uh, king, show us show us what you got, mate. Let's see what he does. Damn, he one taps the Escanor. That's uh pretty impressive considering he is one out of six obviously we did do some damage on the Yeskino beforehand so maybe he wouldn't have one shot him but 94k even the biggest whales in this game their units with attack and defense they're gonna be around 100 to 105k hp right there is no one has like 110k hp attack hit units right so that's actually very good i'm really uh impressed with the uh, the damage from him so far on the ultimate that is the uh, the aoe even the aoe like ignores defense it wasn't it wasn't all that but i guess he actually is a pretty decent support unit for this team that passive is really it's really really good trust me i'm not saying build him because of his passive but i'm just saying hey it's a good one okay it's definitely not the worst it's pretty pog right that's uh game done let's go to our next one Okay, next game, what do we have? We have the... I don't even know what you'd call this. Uh... Hmm. I think, yeah, just same thing. Just push uh, King Ultimate. Get the defense buff. That is really a uh, substantial buff, man. 100% defense? That is absolutely nothing to, uh, to laugh about. Or Ooh. I think we are gonna um, just for the sake of you know testing I think I am gonna put up the three star Galtha buff just for the sake of it mm. that hit pretty okay obviously defense doesn't do much in regards to uh, pierce but nonetheless Let's just uh, let's just rank ourselves to uh, heaven and back. I wonder if if he was to petrify my Galtha with his king, it probably would uh, still go through just because uh, type advantage. Even if we have like the thickest um, defense, type advantage really just like it just says screw your defense. It just says uh, screw everything. Yeah, look, triple defense set. We are barely taking damage, but still, yeah. The Gauth, uh, the uh, the houses, sorry, didn't do too much damage this time though. Um, let's just do this. That king is dead. The Escanor is gonna be pretty low. Oof, very low. I wonder if I could have played that differently. I think if I used the uh, Gauth's uh, AOE instead of Merlin's attack. Followed up with this King uh, AoE. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I don't know how I feel about that. He does have the uh, the attack buff. Uh, I really need to face uh, some real players with this team, man. It's pretty, it's pretty damn interesting in my in my opinion. I think it's a pretty solid team. No, it's really not too bad. Lose one gauge, we lose the uh, the defense buff. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. rank up Merlin, get off the seal, Merlin attack. Nice, nice. Obviously, because uh, Galtha is a triple defense, 
the attack and HP they're lower than usual but I guess I guess the trade-off is really nice defense even then that really nice defense is only gonna save you from a unit like uh, Merlin you know what just for uh, just for heaven's sake let's just uh, let's see what he does here three stars that's 325 percent go on fat king gone hit with this 50k mm. I don't know man I guess it's okay we have his ultimate up tanked interesting is that a one out of six the heck is that yeah that's a one out of six man well we'll just end it here Really, I am thinking though, we act we do not have any protection from debuffs or uh, 88k. Nice. We do not have protection from debuffs or attack seals, petrifies, all that stuff. So, interesting to see what would happen if we uh, face a real player, but let's just keep searching. Hopefully, we get one. Let's go. Okay, next game. What do we have? King Burm. The best current team on global, in my opinion. Interesting, interesting. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's another bot. Fuck's sake. We'll just do the same. Push for the uh, the a uh, the uh, the ultimate gauge. Fifty one. Fifty two. I mean, hmm. relative to my own CP, this dude's isn't that high. It's only like one hundred and fifty something. So I guess the damage doesn't look too bad over here, but. I do think against a really uh, top level player won't be able to do as much damage because they'll have more HP and stuff. Obviously the defense is irrelevant because he ignores defense but you guys know what I mean. Um, uh, I'm really tempted to, uh, you know what, I'm just going to do this. I really thought about get, getting... Um, King's uh, full gauge and then using the, uh, the two star shield, but I just feel like maybe three star by itself is better because we have protection from the shield itself, which is uh, based off Merlin's attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, really good choice. Yeah, 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 that was the right play. Now we are gonna the Gautha won't die, that's for certain. But you know what? Yeah, no, I'm not risking it. I'll just uh, remove the Galthus Gauge. I still want the uh, the defense buff. I still want it. Level 3. Bam. Ooh, that was pretty decent. Pretty damn good, man. Only because it was a level 3, but what can you do, huh? Alright, now we have the full defense buff. We have the shield. We are fully protected. And I think we ult the Merlin. And then that's I think that's game done. Obviously Helbrim's still gonna overpower us. Wait, what? Really? That's interesting. I think uh, it's cause um my king probably has a lot more defense than my Merlin. Let me check real quick. 21. 21. Why why did that makes no sense. Why did Merlin take so much more damage from um, Helbrum? I don't know, but we'll just finish it like this. Not gonna lie, uh, I'm actually I'm really not disappointed. Uh, disappointed, sorry, with uh, Fort King. Obviously, I need to face a real player before I can actually like make any assumptions or whatever. But like, the defense buff really it is really good, man. It's very good, especially coupled up with we have. Oh, that's unfortunate. <sighs> yeah, uh, I don't know, man. Showcasing units when you're in challenges is just such a bad idea. But what can you do, man? This dude's CP isn't the best, unfortunately, so I uh, can't really be impressed with the damage. Obviously, his Gauther and King are geared up. His Eskimo isn't, clearly. So we'll just look at the damage done to uh, Gauther and King. It's not too bad. Purify the poison. 
doesn't matter because he doesn't have gear. Um, at this point, just let's do this. Yikes. Hmm. Most of the um. That's a that's a debuff. Oh, it's a rank up. <clears throat> Bitch fries the fat king. Nice, nice thinking AI. Jesus, man. <laughs> the brain on the AI sometimes is so bad. It's funny. <clears throat> that was a wipe. Hmm. Yeah, uh, to be fair, yeah, I would say I'm pretty, pretty pleased with uh, Fat King's um, support. Like I said, the damage is kind of a bonus. The ultimate, you really don't want to use it unless it's like a last unit situation. But man, so far, it's uh, pretty decent. Pretty decent. And we'll just keep. Oh no, he's gonna kill her anyway, it doesn't matter, whatever. Pog champ. Okay. Let's go to our next game. Okay, next game. Hmm. Against this team, when they're facing us, they can't do too much. Besides, uh, attack Silas. I mean, they can petrify, but not really too worried about that. Because if we go first, we just set up uh, King's ultimate, get the defense buff, and then from there we just we just freestyle it. Is that a seal? No, it's a rank up. I want to see how this team deals with debuffs, man. I want to be debuffed. And the AI is just going to target King every time because he has ultimate. Not uh, not really what I want to see, you know. Whoops. Uh, and cube. Okay. Decent top deck. Heals up, that's fine, that's fine. Fat attack seal only affects the king. So he really is like the target. I'm guessing even like rule players would want to target him, right? Because they don't know what he does, so they just want to kill him as fast as possible. I'm assuming that's what they would want to do. But uh, this is pretty tricky because I can't risk uh, the Galtha. Yeah. Uh, I really can't uh, risk um, get out the ultimate back. I'll just uh, we'll just lose the gauge. It's fine. Obviously, you won't be able to hold the gauge uh, for you know like every fight. Hold on to his ultimate because sometimes you will just be forced to uh, to use it. Right? You'll be forced into using it just because maybe one of their units has ultimate. You need to kill them or just something like that. Right? So. Hmm. What's the best play we can do here? I think best play right now is just going to be uh, rank up, cube, attack seal, make them waste uh, a card. Cleanses Merlin. Hmm. Yeah, still does thick damage. Okay. Escanor. Interesting, interesting. Um. Yeah, we'll just have a... Uh, there's not much we can do in this uh, situation with the cards that I have. We'll just do this. It's probably uh, for the best. Perfect cube. 
Oh, that's, uh, well, at least we sealed the Merlin. Hopefully the AI cleanses. Mm-hmm. Okay. Doesn't break. Can he survive an Escanor ultimate? If this is more than 1-6, probably not. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely uh, more than 1-6. The first time Gil Thunder comes out. Oh, no Gil Thunder buff. Yikes. But that's okay. We ult. Reduce gauge. Attack seal. Attack disable. Sorry, I, I don't know what uh, you guys on global call it. That's, uh, that's GG. Okay. Really, I should have checked that. It's gonna ultimate, but it's fine. Let's, uh, let's carry on. On to our next game. Next game, what do we have? We have some... Uh, that's, uh... PS team. That's pretty interesting. Obviously, in this scenario, I do not want to lose half my HP in one turn, so... I think just do this, make them waste a card. Because these uh, these Pierce teams can really uh, mess you up super fast. And uh, that's something I'm just not interested in. I don't want half my HP blown in um, one uh, attack or one turn of attacks. Doesn't break, that's good. Seals the Merlin. You cheeky son of a... <laughs> uh, that is uh, pretty yikes. Now, King does ignore resistance, but he's not going to completely bypass our defense. Hit them with the two-star debuff. Rush. Mmm, when it crit, that was actually some good damage, man. Obviously, Elizabeth Ellie Hawker discounted because she's an SR, so naturally lower stats and stuff, but man, not too bad. Debuffs my Merlin, let's see if she survives. I doubt this is like 6 6. Maybe has some dupes in, but we'll see, we'll see. Ooh, that, that was well tanked. Very, very well tanked. Mm, do any of you, the, any of the units here not have, uh, not have uh, gear? Let me check. No, uh, Hauser's geared, King is geared, Ellie Hawk is geared, that King, uh, that King was a 2 out of 6, that's not, not too crazy. Alright, let's just go into a full, uh, no, you son of a, oh, that's, they just fucked up the play, man. Killing King is fine, but that's, <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do, game, Jesus. If these dudes have like insane pierce rolls, I could get smashed. Because pierce, you have to like, you have to kill them quickly, man. The, the pierce units, they're really not tanky or anything. They're just like glass cannons. If if these dudes are pierce, which low key I am expecting them to be, even though it is a bot, I'm expecting the dude who has this team to. Uh, okay, check it. Yeah, see, patience. Can't reduce my gauge. That's why I use triple defense. Eh. Yeah. Maybe she doesn't have pierce, but maybe the house does. Anyway, that is GG. That is GG, but man, every time I just think that I'm really happy I'm using a triple defense Galtha. Because, like, man, Galtha ultimate is so useful, and for Merlin to not be able to reduce his gauge unless it's um, a two-star dissolve, that's just really clutch, man. Okay. Next game. Oh, no. Dudes, don't, don't use this team, man. This team is not PogChamp. Ah, oh, it's a real player. Feels bad, man. He's gonna be... No, wait, actually, actually, actually. Just because this is the first real player we fought, I'm gonna actually just use the team the way um, I want to. Let's get the full defense buff. Yeah, see, against the real player, with, like, fully geared, the damage is meh. <laughs> it's meh at best, but that's fine. If he's smart, he'll attack seal and then push someone's ultimate, but I'm assuming he's not, yeah. That house is 100% pierce rolled, by the way. 
thick Eskinor doing thick damage. Yeah, that's a thick Hauser, boys. Good thing that we're just gonna... We're just gonna get Galtha ultimate. Reduce this Eskinor's gauge so we can't cheat out uh, two attacks by using a card, getting full gauge, and then using the other two to kill our king. With this, we force him to use uh, two if he wants to attack us with his Eskinor. All right, never mind. I forgot he has the uh, the cool sun. He's gonna have a rank up and a cool sun. Surely that cool sun. Wait, there's no way he's gonna have two cool suns. Oh wait, he's uh, he wants to unlock Eskinor's. Um... Okay, that was a good play from him. Good play, good play. So obviously against a real player who knows what they're doing, they can easily deal with your. Um... Ah, oh, that is unfortunate. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Well, I was gonna say I'm a bit worried, but nah. Three star gill buff. What's this Eskinor? Oh, he's buffed by Hauser. Okay, okay, makes sense. Well, this is gonna mess him up for sure. Maybe not kill the Eskinor, but it's certainly gonna mess him up hard. Let's see what Galtha does. Yikes, 300k. No fate link, by the way. <laughs> no fate link. Gil Thunder's pretty damn clutch. Please, please. Uh, I hope he uses a level 2 Arthur buff. No, he's going to attack Seal. Okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Your Thunder full gauge. Interesting. Uh, we do this and we've, uh, yeah, we uh, win the game. That's GG. That is GG. That level 1 cube is um, boosted by a 3 star gill buff. So, good luck to him breaking it. Ranks up. Oh, he might break actually. Ranks up again. That's a 3 star, my boy. Barely breaks it. Lul. <laughs> Okay, um, I trust in my Gil, I trust in my Merlin, do I trust in my Gil's AoE to kill this Galthor? 7.9, you know what, screw it, I trust it. This should be uh, game over. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So again, against the rule player, obviously he's uh, realized what I'm doing, or alternatively he didn't realize what I'm doing, saw Fat Kings that I'm going to kill him. So either way, I mean, the team really isn't, <laughs> it's not too bad, man. It really isn't too bad. Obviously, you know, before someone in the comments say, oh, you're 173k with the team, blah, 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 it doesn't matter your gear, blah, blah, blah. Like, just the principle of how it works is still really important, you know? That was uh, pretty good. We uh, took all the Eskinor attacks to our king, protected our other units. Meanwhile, we built on our other units. You know, we got some cubes up. We uh, sealed some attacks. Let's uh, let's play a few more games and uh, call it a day with uh, Old Fart King. Okay, next game. What do we have? Mono Red. Ah, uh, probably a bot. Feels bad. Yeah. King, eh, um, I'm pretty half and half on him. As a support unit, he's actually pretty damn great. The passive is really good. It really does reduce the amount of damage you take. The attack skills, I mean, eh, I guess after turn one or turn two, whatever, as long as you get his ultimate, you can pretty much just uh, leave his cards there, unless you have too many of them that you have to use. But yeah, I think uh, setting up his ultimate and then just playing with your other two units that like Merlin and Galtha they're a great combination you can do a lot of them I think uh, leaving it at that is probably best and then uh, you know what screw it we'll just use the uh, the AoE just because it is a showcase of a uh, fat king 
but it's more that he's a he's a support unit for our other units the other two and then of course usually they should be targeting the king they kill the king Gil Thunder comes in and then we have some uh, a good way to do lots of damage single target and AoE of course but yeah against Pierce not not too much you can do about it, unfortunately that's just that's just the way Pierce works until there's a natural counter for it there's just there's just not too much you can do about it man seal them and yeah wait he has the level 3 buff oh right he does wait is that the, nah that's not the level 3 yeah I thought it was my bad GG get the uh, the two level 3 Merlins Merlin cards kill off Galtha kill off uh, Arthur and then leave Hauser for next turn. Okay. Really, it's a bit of a waste. But what can you do, man? I'm probably not going to kill the Hauser. Oh, I don't know, the guy is 133k. Maybe I would, but just to be safe. We don't even kill the uh, the fucking Galva, dude. And I was worried about Hauser. Lul. Type advantage be uh, be big, man. Type advantage be a big deal. Twigo, that's why, man. Jesus. Twigo in the back, man. It just stalls out games. It's not gonna help you win games. That's that's my opinion. You guys, you guys should know. I'm not really a fan of these uh, health boosting R units. Yeah, the shred on that Pierce AOE is oof. It is oof. And then that should be GG. Low CP Twigo, yeah. Probably not even geared. <laughs> Reduce the defense and then use the, uh, the the AOE after that ignores defense, but that's fine. That's a GG. I think. Galtha, you little slut. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. GG. Pretty pretty solid team, man. I like it. I like it. I think it's pretty pog. Is this viable? Okay, what's this? Ah. <sighs> Pretty disheartening, not gonna lie. From now on, I'm never recording another showcase ever when I'm in a uh, challenger, man. It's uh, pretty unfortunate. I've recorded a uh, 40 minutes so far, so I probably will edit out some games, but yeah, this is uh, pretty tragic. Ugh. Ungeared Eskinor, nice. I make such a big deal out of the bots, man, because it just is a big deal. You know, it is a big deal, man. When you're trying to showcase, you, you don't want to do it to bots. You really don't. Um, no, I'm just gonna. Level 3, and boom. If only you could, uh,. Only face real players. That's how this. That's how this game used to do it, right? Because before, like, before they ever like changed PvP back on JP a long time ago, the highest rank we had was actually Gold One. There was nothing above Gold One. You just played Gold One, got 30 gems a week, and then like they did this, and and there was no bots, zero bots back then, right? Zero. The, everyone you faced was a real player, and then they did a huge update. They added champion and all that stuff, and then that's where the bots started, like coming in and uh, I don't know it's, it, it was not Pog Champ in my uh, personal opinion that update it was like for the game but for PvP like sure you get more gems and stuff but like just the the quality of PvP the enjoyment is just not really there that much man because these bots they're just lifeless you know that's <laughs> that's my little rant on bots let's um let's play our final game and uh, call it alright last game we have Pierce Team or Pierce Mono Red. 
Um, surprise, surprise, it's a bot. <laughs> Get King Gage. Work it up from there. Thinking about it, would it be better to use something different? Maybe resistance food? Probably not. Or like defense food. I don't think any other food works well with this team just because the main thing about this semi tank control team, right? Is just mainly like you just have to get King's ultimate, man. And then control the game from there. So far, I haven't been, uh, I don't think I've been attacked once by Galthor in any game. Or maybe I did, I don't really remember. I have shit memory, but. Yeah. Pretty unfortunate. I do feel like uh, attack ceiling would. Uh, oh, actually, I, I think I did get attack ceiling once. Yeah, attack ceiling obviously does kind of ruin stuff, but you can still work around it. You still have access to a uh, king's weak, weak AOE, and uh, you know your perfect Cuban stuff, so you can definitely uh, stall it out. Obviously, a level three attack seal isn't going to be a uh, pog champ at all, but you know, let's do this. And yeah, yeah. Cause this video is 42 minutes. It's gonna be uh, pretty cancerous to edit, but oh well. Um, perfect cube. But yeah, I think I've already explained enough times how the team works. So if anyone was to try this, I highly doubt it, cause you know I don't mind testing units for other people just to see. Like I said, you know, I'm not free to play, none of that, so can't really provide you with an accurate showcase if you was to do this yourself, but, I mean, uh, it is what it is, there's not much I can do about it, no, there really isn't, uh, AoE, let's just triple AoE, yeah, probably a bad idea, pitiful damage, <laughs> oh no, Oh my fucking ear. Um Ungeared Merlin. Okay. Um well, there's no way I can stop that, so I think just, uh, just do this. That's probably the uh, best thing to do right now. Kill the Merlin for sure. I, I mean, I guess he does have a really strong ultimate, to be fair. The ultimate is pretty strong. I don't know if it's just like the gear I have on him, but the ultimate is uh, pretty pog. And that's not even counting the uh, the defense down debuff it applies afterwards, which is just going to help you do so much damage. Reducing defense by 40% is a big deal. Is it defense related stats? Yeah, related stats. So reduce their resistance, all of that stuff. And the way this game works, when they say 40%, they don't mean 40% of your current, like, whatever, whatever. It's actually just like 40% taken off. Like if you have a hundred and if you have a hundred percent resistance, right? Then King's ultimate takes off a fixed forty percent of that, so you'd have sixty left. But yeah, that's uh, forty-five minutes of uh, gameplay recorded. Gonna have to edit this quite a lot to uh, take out the garbage and whatnot. But yeah, King. I mean, I only faced one real player once again, which is uh, you know it's just unfortunate. There's not much I can do. But as a team, it actually was pretty solid. Would I recommend a free-to-play build this? No. Would I recommend you build King? No. But he really isn't too bad. He's definitely not like one of the worst units in the game, for sure. But he's nothing special either. The passive is nice. The skills are meh. The ultimate's good. Verdict on King? Yeah. The, don't build him, even though it can work. Don't uh, don't bother. There's lots of other units you could bother building up. So uh, yeah, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed uh, the showcase of this uh, fat dude. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.